I am at my best when I'm chasing a goal, going to another Paralympic Games, being on the podium. Those things are very motivating to me. We train for a race that is sometimes less than a minute. I love knowing that I just trained my butt off for the last two years for this one moment. My name is Rudy Garcia Tolson. I've gone to four Paralympic Games and I've won two gold medals, two silver and one bronze. A lot of these kids have read about my story in their school book, and the teacher reached out to me to ask if I would come and chat with the kids. I'm sure you guys are wondering, why? Why do you have these special legs? Well, when I was born, the challenge was that my real legs, I could not walk with them. The doctors removed the part of my leg that did not work. Some of my classmates made fun of me a little bit, and kids would bully me and I would go talk to my friends, and my friends would make me feel better. And that's what a good friend does. The doctors told me I would never be able to run because of my legs. But you know what I said? I said, yes, I can. They told me that I would never be able to ride my skateboard. And I said, yes, I can. There you go. They told me that I would never be able to swim because you need legs to swim. But I told them, yes, I can. After my fourth Paralympic Games in Rio, I was pretty content with my performances. I moved out to New York to work full time, to coach as well. Rudy and I go way back. We were both at the Beijing Paralympics. We both decided to retire after Rio. So we were both retired athletes learning to work desk jobs and Rudy was just, I think, feeling very frustrated. And I did that for a number of years until 2020 when COVID pandemic hit. They decided they were going to postpone the Olympics and Paralympic Games. I realized that there was a whole extra year to try to make it. I missed being an athlete. I missed being in the water. I missed training on, on a daily basis. I love swimming because it made me feel free when I'm in the water. What drives me is just the day in and day out challenges of being an athlete and trying to better yourself. He's like, I think I want to make a comeback. I'm like, you should definitely make a comeback. That's when I just decided that, I, you know what, I was going to leave New York and, and pursue this dream of trying to make my fifth pair of the games. When I first said that I wanted to come back, I got a lot of mixed reactions. Some people were telling me that, you know, I need to hang it up and close that chapter and move on. At the end of the day, what matters is what you believe. Never listen to the people who try to tell you what you can and can't do. I realized there were going to be a lot of challenges involved. First and foremost, with the COVID pandemic, I had nowhere to train. All public pools were closed. I headed to California. I started to go to the ocean to swim. The New York Times did a uh, story about me returning to sport, and they mentioned that I had nowhere to train. It's pretty cool how it happened, but David Duchovny offered me to train at his private pool in Malibu. And Mr. David let me come there as much as I wanted, but ended up having to drive from where I live to Malibu and back every day, which on some of the longer drives took, you know, three hours one way. The ultimate goal was to come out to Colorado Springs, where I've prepared for my last four games. Because I haven't swam in the pool since 2016, I was really rusty. Because I didn't swim from 2017 and beyond, I wasn't able to get my classification reviewed. Trial's coming up here in about a month, and as it stands today, um, I, I won't be able to make the team. But uh, I have a call here with the national team director, so I'm hoping to hear some good news. We're notified of an opportunity in Brazil. We think this is going to be one of the last opportunities for classification. I'm pretty nervous, actually. It's getting real. Yo, Babbitt. So what'd you say? We got some good news. That means that you'll be able to swim in the finals in the trial. Uh, exactly. That, that makes my day. And if he goes there and performs, he'll be going to Tokyo. 
throughout my Paralympic journey, CAF has always supported me because there's a lot of competitions that I, I had to go to just to get to where I am today. It's, it's definitely been financially challenging. Without CAF helping me get to these competitions, it just wouldn't be realistic. We'll begin with the men's team nomination. Rudy Garcia Tolson. This journey of going to Tokyo has been nothing but setbacks. But for me, I, I smile when I get setbacks. Like I, I love it because I know that's just even more of a challenge. That's the whole fun of it, is, is to go for something that doesn't seem possible and, and then over time you make it possible. That's where you, you find out who you are.